Hello, everybody. This is Terry Nance. I want to welcome you to the Armor Bear Awakening today. You know, today is the day God made and he created it. And the thing that the revelation that we need to receive in our hearts is this day was actually created with us in mind. So God has poured grace out upon today. And what we do is by faith, we reach up and receive the grace that he's already provided. It is the finished work of Jesus Christ. He not only saves us, he heals us, he delivers us, he gives us peace in our heart and our mind. As long as we keep him before us, stay in unforgiveness, be quick to forgive and move on and not be offended. Uh, and all this is for us now. It's for you right now. And I just release that in your world right now in Jesus' name, because something good's going to happen to you today. If you enjoy the broadcast, be sure and subscribe to it. Go to godsarmorbear.com, and you can get the information on our mentoring program. I've got several I am mentoring. And what I'm doing right now with several of the people who I've been counseling is actually teaching them how to teach the Armor Bear course. And this is something that every church needs. And I encourage the pastors uh, to go on there. It, it actually is just $100 a month. And I will take your leaders and begin to walk them through for 12 months. I'll walk them through so they know how to teach that course in your church. Also, I am available for conferences. Please contact me. Uh, the hour of the local church, it is now. God's not through with the local church. He isn't. And so the Lord, the armor bearers, you know, uh, I'm sharing out of God's armor bearer, uh, devotional. And you know, I remember when I wrote the book and when I finished the armor bearer book, I sat there. Of course, it was a while I had been obedient to God. I didn't know what the Lord was going to do with it, but I did say to the Lord, God, just give me one phrase to close this book. And instantly I heard the armor bearers of today will be the leaders of tomorrow. And in leadership, you rise up into a place of a visionary. And in every department, and I want to say this to every department leader, you have vision. Uh, your department create vision. I mean, don't look to your pastor and say, what do you want done this year? No, no, he's looking to you saying, what are you going to do this year? Tell me, get with me. Tell me your plans. What, what God is speaking to you for, for your department. When we started our uh, Bible school, we actually started first off as a mission school and uh, we had uh, only seven students because I mean, it was advertised. You're going overseas if you come here. And so we went from seven and we had 14 the next year. And the school, of course, it didn't bring in enough income to uh, pay anybody, uh, just basically to get our books and all the material. And I was really, man, like, Lord, I don't want to, this is my department, but I don't want to depend on the funds of the church. It would be wonderful if this church was, if the school could be uh, it, its own provider and uh, not have taken anything from the church budget, budget. And so I remember one night, man, I was just really stirred and I got into prayer and I spent some time just on the floor praying in the Holy Spirit and just asking God for the wisdom of God. And then all of a sudden it came. The vision of the church I was working for was to be a spiritual production center, uh, city, state, nation, and world. And so as I was praying, I saw uh, start a layman school to reach your city, uh, start a Bible school to reach the nations, and start uh, a mission school to reach the world, city, state, nation, world vision. Well, I started figuring, okay, how am I going to do this? Well, I, I said, Monday night layman school, do it on a Monday night. Uh, Monday nights only, open it up to the public, open it up to every church around, uh, get teachers in here. And I knew I was going to have to pay the teachers. So we were believing God for a good group of people. And uh, the Bible school, 
uh, not only train people for uh, missions, but you train them for uh, pastoral duties and other things. And so as uh, and raise up and disciple them through this. And so I wrote all that down. And I mean, I got with my wife, Kim, we kind of fine tuned it. I went and I sat down with the pastor and I said, this is what I feel. Uh, and I, uh, in my heart that we are to do. And I, I laid it out city, state, nation and world. And I said, now this is what I felt. And I put it, I moved it over on his desk and I said, now pastor, uh, if you okay this, we will run with it. If you want us to put it on the shelf for a minute, whatever, I, I, this is what I've done. And he looked at that and said, Terry, honestly, this is pretty amazing. And he said, let's do this and let's get stuff out right now. And so we started implementing it. And the very first year of the layman school, we had 250 students. Uh, and that well supported that. Not only it supported that, it started paying salaries, uh, in the mission department who were working with us. And then we had the Bible school on top of that, which was doing very well. And then we had the mission school. And when that all that income began to come in, we had more than enough. I mean, even at the end of the year, there was over 25,000 in the account. And, and that we could use it to for uh, publications and everything else. God just did a wonderful, wonderful thing. But vision is in you. And that is what you've got to do. You've got to get on the floor, pray, pray in the spirit, talk to God, let God give you a vision for your department in Jesus name, because the armor bears of today will be the visionaries of tomorrow. God bless you.